After a friend was killed in a car accident, I began looking for ways to secure our dogs in the car. Her dog had ridden on the seat next to her for 15 years. He fell off and pinned her foot down on the accelerator. She struck a parked semi-trailer at a high rate of speed. I bought halters but the dogs got tangled. Carriers took up all the room and left no space for our luggage. I tried a couple of smaller barriers but they jumped over them. Wire ones look like they belonged in a police car. This one fits perfectly, blocks them from the front seat and is always in place without being intrusive. It went together in moments and the only issue I had was my own mistake of making the strap too complicated and clumsy. Just thread it from the bottom straight through and the teeth will hold it where you want it. Because the back seat is almost always down I just tucked it behind the seat and secured it to the headrests. It's not going anywhere and neither are the dogs. Finally found a way to give my princess, name changed because it's a more accurate description, a screen door at the back of her car. I use a battery powered fan for airflow, and have a thermometer and camera accessible from my phone to check on her she loves it, and doesn't mess with the screen door. I installed it with the mesh facing her, using bunges. The key is to use the latch catch at the bottom to give the barrier a hard stop parked in the shade. She's as comfortable as can be. She always has water, toys, snacks, as well she comes to work with me, and loves to sleep in her car. But it's getting hot, so I had to stop. Unfortunately, she doesn't like my office, and she hates when I put her in a stall in the barn or, god forbid, in a kennel. I'm a vet, BTW now. I can let her hang in back of her car, and she's so much happier in between her walks on the back 200 acres. Princess approved I have a 2014 Subaru Forester. BTW.